The only woman ever elected to the U.S. Senate from Texas is coming home. Senator Kay Bailey Hutchison says Governor Rick Perry has stayed in office too long, and she plans to leave the Senate this fall to challenge him in the 2010 race. Channel 8's Brad Watson reports. When Hutchison was last in North Texas, she said she'll formally announce for governor in August and campaign into September. On the Mark Davis Show on WBAP Radio today, she filled in the rest of her fall schedule, which includes resignation. Well, I'm going to announce in August, uh, formal announcement, I am in. Then the actual leaving of the Senate will be sometime October, November, uh, that, in that time frame. Hutchison said by then Senate votes on health care and cap-and-trade emissions will be out of the way. Hutchison declined to challenge Perry in 2006, but this time, if he won't step aside, she says she must resign to take him on. For him to try to stay on for 15 years is too long. In Carrollton, for a school bill signing, Perry responded. Mm, I guess 15 years in the United States Senate is not too long. Under this timeline, Perry will appoint Hutchison's replacement until a special election next May. But Perry could set the election earlier by declaring it's urgent that voters make their choice. A shorter campaign may help Perry's appointee after a big splash of news coverage and criticism of Hutchison. And Perry says he may do just that. For us not to have someone in the United States Senate looking after Texas interest, uh, I think is uh, uh, irresponsible. That special Senate election would set off a mad scramble for candidates wanting to fill out Hutchison's term that ends in 2012, and anyone could run. No primary here. Some statewide office holders could jump in, leaving even more vacancies. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brad Watson, Channel 8 News. Bigger. So far, nobody's been hurt. Governor Rick Perry says he's trying to lure more businesses to Texas, and part of doing that is to continue to produce a skilled workforce. Today, the governor was in Carrollton, where he signed House Bill No. 3. It strengthens the state's school accountability system. Perry says that will keep Texas more competitive in a global marketplace.